Well, summer travel season is officially underway with more people taking to the skies. So that means TSA is preparing for lots of passengers nationwide. Here's a live look at Seattle Tacoma International Airport, Los Angeles International Airport, our home airport, the Buffalo Niagara International in Chittawaga, and the busiest airport in the world, the Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport. Thanks for joining us today for Most Buffalo. I'm Lauren Hall and the TSA in Buffalo is also showing us some technology aimed at making sure that anyone trying to board a plane is really who they say they are. We hear more from Most Buffalo's Dave McKinley. If it's been a while since you traveled, a new experience awaits you when you check in through security here at the Buffalo Airport. Here, the TSA has installed its latest version of its Credential Authentication Technology, or CAT system, to verify a traveler's identity. Like the ones they had before, it scans your photo ID to confirm your identity and flight details. But the new ones also have a camera to capture a real-time photo of the traveler, comparing it to the one submitted on the ID in a aim to prevent fraudulent documents at the security checkpoint. It's the same technology basically used to unlock your phone through facial recognition. Once the CAT 2 confirms the match, the traveler can proceed through the checkpoint without ever exchanging a boarding pass. If you're uncomfortable having your photo taken, hey, that's okay. You tell the officer that you want to opt out, and the officer will then validate your uh, ID the way it was done prior to the camera being installed. In addition, uh, keep in mind, the photo was not kept. After you're cleared, uh, then the photo was deleted. We don't need it anymore. The one thing the system is not designed to do is to speed up the process of getting through, which may be considered unfortunate. As just last week, the TSA set an all-time record for number of passengers screened in a day, which is expected to be broken soon enough as travel is expected to hit all-time highs at this and other airports this summer. On your side, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.